Want to use Microsoft Office but don't have the money to pay for it? This has been with Make Use Of, and I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Office for free right now without downloading anything. The way you can do this is through Microsoft's free Office Online service. Now, as you might know, Microsoft does offer Office 365, which is a subscription-based service that includes all of its apps, but it also offers free versions online that are stripped down but still work really well. To get started with this, head to office.com, which is Microsoft Office's home page, and click Sign In in the top right. You'll be brought to a page where you can sign into your Microsoft account. If you use Skype, Outlook, or Xbox, you already have a Microsoft account. Uh, if you don't have any of those services, you'll need to create a new one here to use Office Online. Once you sign in, you'll see the list of Office apps that you can use. Office Online includes Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and more, but we're going to focus on Word for this video. Go ahead and click on Word. Give it just a minute and you'll see a page uh, just like using Microsoft Word on your computer. Uh, you can open a blank document or you can use one of the many templates that it makes available to you. And once you open it up, you'll see that if you're familiar with Word, the Office Online interface uh, pretty much looks like Microsoft Word. It doesn't have every little thing that the desktop version of Word does, but you can of course type up documents, you can add headings, uh, and the insert and page layout and so on tabs. Uh, you have support for uh, headers, page numbers, you can change the indentation, add comments, uh, things like that. So you won't be able to do everything that you can do in the desktop version of Word, um, but you can use it uh, obviously to type up documents and save them. So when you're done, if you open up the file section, you can go to save as, and saving it will let you copy it to your OneDrive so you can add access it from anywhere, but if you like, you can also click on download a copy, and that will let you download a Word document to your computer that you can then send to somebody, uh, keep for safekeeping, anything like that. So it's really a great way to use Word without paying for it. Uh, there are no restrictions aside from there not being all the features that you might be used to, but if you're just a casual uh, user of Microsoft Word, this is definitely going to be enough for you. The other option you have, uh, if you're not, uh, if you don't have your heart set on Microsoft Word itself, is LibreOffice, which is a free Office suite that offers uh, a lot more features than Office Online. So LibreOffice, when you go to download it, it does offer uh, several apps and one. It offers uh, alternatives to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. So it, it, it'll, uh, it'll be more of a replacement for the desktop version of Microsoft Office if you need something that you can work on when you don't have an internet connection uh, or you just need more power, LibreOffice is going to be a great option. So you have two really good options uh, if you want to use Word for free. Uh, Word Online is really simple and easy to use and it lets you download copies of your documents to your desktop, whereas LibreOffice is a little bit more powerful and works well if you don't always have a steady internet connection. So that's all for this video. We thank you for watching and if you subscribe to Make Use Of's YouTube channel, you can expect to see more tips, tutorials like this, and reviews of the latest tech. We'll see you in the next one.